ChatGPT recently introduced one Chrome extension using which you can replace Google search. Let me show you very quickly in this video how can you install it and is it really useful how it is everything we can discuss. Let me show you. So if you follow my mouse here, currently I open ChatGPT from my web browser. Now here, if I click on my profile picture, I'm getting one option that is get ChatGPT search extension. If I click on that, then this particular tab will open and here you can click on this button to install this extension. Let me do it. If I click on this add to Chrome, then this warning pop up will come. I'll click on add extension and then it is getting added. And now you can see that chat GPT search has been added to your Chrome. While we're talking about this particular feature, I'm in process to record one detailed course on chat GPT, Google Gemini, Claude and Microsoft Copilot. I have added one link in the description below. Please fill out that form if you want to get a discount coupon when the course will be launched. Now coming back, there are not much of settings, everything here. What I can do now if I close it and if I open a new tab, now you can see there is no option of Google search. That particular search bar is not here. If you need to ask anything, you need to type in the address bar here. So let's check how it is working. If I just type this particular question, how can I use ChatGPT Windows application? And if I hit enter, then you can see Google is prompting you that you go back to your Google search. For now, I'll click on keep it. You can see it opened ChatGPT directly. So now instead of searching something in Google, OpenAI is trying to redirect that traffic to their website in ChatGPT. And whenever you are asking something, it will open ChatGPT console and there you can again come here and prompt to reprompt to get your responses. So this is the way they added this Chrome extension. Now, there are a few things I found which is not very useful for me. One major thing I never liked that is they removed all my quick icons from here. I normally use a set of icons here so that I can improve my workflow and I don't waste much time on finding my bookmarks. But that is removed. Other than that, it is good. And some of the time, if you need Google search, then you can click on this particular icon of Google and there you can directly do the Google search. As a new tab, whenever you will open, you will not be able to see that Google search again. Now, let me very quickly show you the what are the quick icons I was talking about. If I come here, and I click on this particular icon to uninstall this extension. I'll click on this remove from Chrome. Then I'll click on remove. Now we can see that Google search came and here I have my quick icons intact. And this is the way I normally use because I use these websites very often. And that's why I was not liking that particular feature. Overall, this extension can be helpful for certain cases, but they may need to do certain modifications to keep other uh, settings intact so that a workflow of any person will not get distracted. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this Chrome extension? Will it be really helpful, not helpful or if you are planning to use it or not? ChatGPT also recently introduced one very good feature that is advanced voice mode, which you can access from your web browser. Also from your mobile app. I recorded a separate and detailed video covering those features. Check out this video to know everything about it.